Hello, you cool cats. This is Mina with another episode of Steins Gate. I just want to say really quickly for those of you who aren't from, like, you know, a month from now, new viewers, or if you don't follow me on Twitter, um, you're probably not going to notice that there was a huge gap in my upload schedule, and that was due to um, quite a bit of medical problems, and I had surgery, and the recovery for it was pretty dang awful. I don't want to, like, talk too much about it, but in case uh, you are one of the viewers who has been waiting patiently for me to upload a video, that is what has happened. I'm sure you're wondering why I picked Steins Gate to come back to. It requires the least amount of editing for me to upload um, the video, so it's kind of a good series to hop back in into. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and get back to the game. Whatever happened. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, afterwards, the D-mail experiment, its name is Operation Erd, though I lost my chance to announce it, continues for two hours. During that time, every D-mail goes back in time without a hitch. Now it's time to take a break. We're all hungry, and except for Mayuri, we've been up since last night. Go ahead and rest. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have a go at it a little longer. She's been going at it for hours, and she's still full of energy. It's hard to believe she was so opposed to time travel research before. Her scientist blood must be on fire. We've made a number of discoveries, but we can wait to assess them after we eat. Daru and I leave the two girls to watch over the lab as we go shopping at the convenience store. We return from the convenience store to find the Brawn Tubes Workshop one and only part-time warrior standing in front of the building. She's stretching. Sup! She notices me and calls out without stopping her exercises. What shenanigans are you up to this early in the morning? Shenanigans? This girl has a thing for unusual words. The kind you wouldn't believe. We're building the first time machine in human history. Huh, cool. Hey, shouldn't you be more surprised? Can't blame her for being skeptical. I didn't think it was possible either. And isn't that top secret? I thought you didn't want anyone to know. <laughs> Uh, crap. Part-time warrior, please keep what I just said a secret. Sure. By the way... Part-time warrior glanced at the Bromtude workshop. The boss is really pissed. Why? The noise? Whatever you're doing up there, it's got the whole building shaking. Dust everywhere. Kind of like an air raid. He was saying stuff like, What's that nutcase doing? I'm gonna raise his damn rent! Maybe you should go apologize. Oh boy, what if he kicks us out? Alright, leave it to me. Daru, go tell my assistant to lay off the experiments for now. Roger that. I won't forget you, soldier. Daru salutes, then races up to the second floor. 
By the way, is Makise Krisu here too? Oh. Yeah. Come to think of it, she did pick a fight with Christina yesterday. Have you met before? Uh, no. Yesterday was first contact. First contact? That's a strange way of putting it. Oh, really? Weren't you a little hostile for a first contact? She's my enemy. What? I barely heard her. Her voice was so low. I'm about to ask her to repeat herself, but Suzuha is staring at the ground in silence. She obviously doesn't want to talk about this. Did she call Kurisu her enemy? But that doesn't make sense. How can she be your enemy? You just met, right? Yeah. Did she do something to you? Not to me. What does that mean? She did something to someone else? Oh, bingo. If you want, I can go talk things over with Christina. This is a very strange behavior from Rintaro. It doesn't really matter. Maybe you're blaming the wrong person? Jeez, give it a rest! She hits me with a glare. Anyway, shouldn't you apologize to the boss instead of talking to me? <laughs> Actually, I'm getting cold feet. But I am Hyo and Kyoma, the mad scientist who brings chaos to the world. I can't falter now. I steal myself and enter the brawn tube workshop. Part-time warrior follows me inside. I have come! Mr. Braun is sitting in, at the counter inside, slurping delivery ramen. Oh, that sounds delicious. Even when I enter, he doesn't look away from the huge 42-inch CRT. By the way, if you hear a cat yelling, he thinks that he, it's time to be fed, but he's, he's on a diet. This cat weighs over 20 pounds now. He needs to go on this, this diet. He's, a, he's getting, like, some diet cat food for, like, basically cats that have low activity. <laughs> he is being fed properly. He just needs to lose some weight. <laughs> it's showing some news shows report on some celebrity divorce. Part-time warrior doesn't say anything. She's just going to stand there and watch him rip into me, rip me a new one. Hey, Okabe. The hell are you doing up there? Straight to the punch. He doesn't take his eyes off the TV, nor does he stop slurping his ramen. Yet despite his sedentary p posture, he exudes extraordinary pressure. But now's not the time to falter. We're currently conducting experiments that will change the course of human history. The discoveries we make today will shape the world for centuries. I don't care what games you guys play. I'm the owner of this building, got it? And the building's really worn out. You keep shaking it like that and you can bring down the whole damn thing down on our heads. Better keep quiet about the dent in the floor. <laughs> Mr. Brown. 
<laughs> Very interesting, Mr. Braun. Don't tell me you forged this building's earthquake safety certificate. What if I did? Holy crap. Maybe we should seek shelter soon. <laughs> it's been properly reinforced, but regardless, you guys are still shaking it too much. <laughs> so what if a few buildings collapse? What's that? <laughs> That's really bold of you. As I've said countless times before, our current experiment is of vital importance to the history of science. No, to the history of human civilization itself. It's more important than prolonging this building's lifetime for another ten or so measly years. The building starts shaking again as soon as I finish speaking. Flakes of concrete start falling from the ceiling. The 42 inches CRT image goes to static. Damn it, Dara, what are you doing? I thought I told you to stop the experiments. Okabe. Okabe. He's glaring at me. The ceiling is falling, you dumbass. Some got into my ramen. What are you going to do about it, huh? No more shaking. Or I'll raise your rent by 10,000. What? If you raise it 10,000 yen, we're ruined. <laughs> Leave it to me, Mr. Braun. On my honor, I swear there won't be any more shaking today. With that, I race out of the Braun tube workshop. We're gonna have to relocate this. Christina, stop the experiments at once! When I burst into the lab, I find the three of them in the middle of lunch. Mayuri has juicy chicken number one. Daru has a convenience store box lunch. Chris is eating cup noodles with a fork. Mayushi tried to warm up some chicken. I accidentally put it through reverse rotation and then it started sparking. I see. I sent you an email. Didn't you get it? Your sarcasm is not appreciated, Christina. You know as well as I do that my phone is still attached to the phone wave name subject to change. I disconnect my phone from phone wave name subject to change while grinding my teeth. One more pliz. One more, please. Stop screwing around! I'm the one who has to deal with Mr. Braun! But I gave you five days advance notice. Well, yeah, the timestamp's from five days ago, but... Was he mad? <laughs> killing aura. Yeah, I could feel his killing aura. Daru turns pale, but the two girls don't seem to care. They know not the wrath of Mr. Braun. Ignorance is bliss. Anyway, no more experiments today. Well, at least we got some good data. Then Kurisu hides her mouth with her hand as she yawns. I'm dead tired and my hair is dried out. I want to take a shower and go to sleep. I sigh and take a box lunch out of the convenience store bag. 
It's cold, so I toss it in the phone wave, name subject to change, and set the timer normally. If you want a shower, there's one here. It doesn't have a bath, though. Hooker in always uses it. It's probably filthy. Oh. No, 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 no. How do I... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what, how to control this game. <laughs> Um, Kyoma-san, are you familiar with Garo Froggies? They were a huge fad last year. We have a ton of them at the shrine. So if you like, could you take a few off our ha hands? Dad brought bought a whole box home for some reason. Then he said they were for me. I don't know what to do with them. P.S. I was so bewildered, I couldn't do any practice swings with Samadare. Uh... Garo Froggies is the thing Mayuri likes or liked. Those weird-looking frog things that were popular with teenage girls in Shibuya last year, right? If I'm not mistaken, they came out with a wide variety of them. Send that. There we go. Okay. That sounds good. I'd be lying if I called it clean. This entire building is in shambles. Anyway, I refuse to use the same shower as Okabe. This <laughs> 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 voice acting is so good. I forgot about that. I understand. Nobody will blame you if you don't use it. Of course, since the three of us stayed up all night, we're all pretty smelly. <laughs> Given the sweltering heat and the fact that we kept the windows closed all night, I bet this place is smelling pretty rank by now. That's why I'm going back to my hotel once I finish eating. Kurisu slurps her cup noodles indignantly. I bought them at her request. She was raised in America, yet she likes cup noodles? Strange. Celebrity bath time at a high class hotel? I want to come too. Not a chance. Mayushi wants to come too. You can come anytime, Mayuri san. Really? Thank you! I take my warm food out of the microwave, take a fresh bottle of Dr. P out of the fridge, and join in on lunch. Hey, Okarin! I've been wondering, but why do you drink soda while you eat? Does it make it taste better? Mm. I like soda with some foods, but then I feel like it kind of does alter the flavor of what you're eating in other times. Like really subtle foods, like I just prefer to have water. I don't really see a problem. Me neither. Same. I didn't give it a second thought. You're acting weird, Mayuri. It's normal to drink soda while eating. It's normal, duh. No objections. No way! You guys are the weird ones! Well, I'm a pure Doc Parian. Daru loves 
Coca-Cola like a typical fat otaku. And Chrissy lives in America, home of soda. Okay, how do I... There we go. That's the button. Someone who loves Dr. P above all other beverages. Coined by Okadin. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's the Erd thing. The eldest of three Norns. Goddesses of fate in Norse mythology, the three sisters tend to the world tree, Idrisil, which has roots in Erd's fountain. Erd is the Norn of the past. So I admit our opinion is biased, but that doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Now, let us discuss Operation Erd's progress. Operation Erd? 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 Operation Thanks to a certain assistant, I didn't get a chance to present the operation's code name yesterday. Heed me! These d -mail experiments are all part of Operation Earth. The experiments have been fruitful. She interrupts me again. At the very least, we've learned what we can do with d -mail. Kurisu places her empty noodle cup on the table, then retrieves the whiteboard from the development room. While the rest of us eat, she scribbles on the whiteboard, then puts it up against the wall. That about sums it up. Anything to add? Nothing especially. She summarized the vital points. I don't know how to, like... Pull this down, so let, let me see if I can read what it is. The command for the... Um, so, use the command for the microwave warming function. Reverse rotation. Force microwave door open while warming is in progress. Timing unconfirmed. Discharge phenomenon. Send mail to phone wave. Name subject to change. During discharge. Conditions for discharge between 12 and 18. Dmail text limit 12 1 byte or 6 2 byte characters times 3. Any more fails to send. Uh, I can't read what's under there. Discharge depends on phone waves. Timer input 1 second on timer, 1 hour into past. Contents of microwave become jellymen confirmed to also teleport. Beauty has her mouth half open in a blank stare. She clearly doesn't understand. <laughs> A Dmail can be at most 36 English characters or 18 Japanese characters long. That makes experimentation difficult, so we'll want to approve that first. That's wild that it would be 36 English characters or 18 Japanese characters long. Though I get why <laughs> they wrote it that way. Because um, almost almost all of... Uh, so so it's, it's really easy to say, to, to write out something in Japanese, like in a shorter amount of space than in English. Because um, just the words are smaller and you can use kanji. And the fact that like... Like the sounds are are produced by like t like two like 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 one Japanese character is like two to three English characters. That's also why in like speed runs and things like that, whenever you see like people using Japanese games instead of the English ones, it's usually because the text is just it's a lot faster to get get the uh, the words across in in Japanese, and that typically means that. Um, Japanese is like the fastest unless there's like something different about like the way the games are coded so that way like text scrolls faster or something like that in in later versions that wasn't present in the Japanese version like that's the only thing or there's huge time skips in like in um in the English version 
um, that didn't exist in the original. That's typically why. Anyways. Furthermore, each D-mail is split into 12 character segments. If you send 36 characters, you get three 12 character emails. If you try to send more, everything after the 36th character disappears. Oh, right. The other, the reason why I said that makes sense is not because it makes sense in, in terms of like the phone sending that, but it makes sense in this game. Like they have to give um, the English characters more, more space in order to, uh, in order to make it equal to whatever the Japanese was. So that's why 36 character. But we figured out how to control when it arrives. That's pretty good, right? Though I wonder, maybe they used the English script in the original game, because considering, um... Considering how savvy this game is about, like, the world in general, maybe it was like that originally. Who knows? I'm sure it's... I'm sure somebody knows. Though, we can only send it in one hour increments. We can control how far back D-mails go by using the microwave's timer. Observation isn't enough. We need to find the underlying principle. What I've written here is nothing but verified phenomena. The underlying principle, you're right. It's not a complete time machine until we understand how it works. What could be the reason for the character limit? Daru and Kurisu remain silent. Um... Suddenly, Mayuri, who has been staring at the ceiling in confusion until now, raises her hand. Chicken and bananas become gel chicken and gel bananas, but salt doesn't turn into gel salt, does it? So much gel. According to Miyuri, the refrozen chicken had indeed been jellified when she tried eating it. Kurisu's prediction was right. And you can send 36 letters in a D-mail, but everything past that disappears, right? So I think maybe you can't send big things, or a lot of small things. Maybe the curb black hole. Uh, it's curb black hole. The curb black hole. Care black hole. <laughs> She's just like, I give up. Like, just forget it. The black hole's hole is too tight. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Mayushi, say that one more time, starting from hole. Outrageous! Stop making her say stuff like that! Mayuri has flowers for brains, so she's easy prey for Daru's perversions. It drives me crazy. The hole is tight, huh? That might not entirely... That might not be entirely wrong. おそらく
Maybe we have the same problem CERN has with their time machine. Since they can't fully control their lifter, they can't make the singularities perfectly naked, which limits how much they can send. Anyway, six Japanese or twelve English characters come out to twelve bytes. Huh. English characters are half width, so they only use one byte, but full width Japanese characters use two. Bytes? Not kilobytes. Oh, so Makishi is bad with computers? <laughs> oh, don't tease her. <laughs> is that so, assistant? Sh shut up. You don't see things measured in bytes nowadays, so I was just making sure. By the way, one kilobyte is 1,024 bytes. One byte is 8 bits. <laughs> Man, I remember... <laughs> I So, I I feel really old. Because, like, all of that is just kind of duh to me. Um, so, like... I, I know this is going to be outrageous one day when someone looks this up on YouTube. But back in the day, some of the computers we had were, like... <laughs> they were, like, barely any megabytes. <laughs> you would just be like, you're like, wow, this is so fast. I still remember when we got a computer that had, like... I don't, I don't remember it being that many gigabytes, but it was like like only a couple, like, I don't think it was even 10, I don't remember, but it had like, and we thought like, Jesus, like that, we were like, gosh, that's such a, so much space, and now it's like, <laughs> that could barely contain some of the games <laughs> Oh, and now, and then I remember when I went out to get like a two terabyte, um, um, I forget, like, a, a storage space or whatever. And, and I remember somebody looked just baffled when I said I was getting two terabytes. They were just like, what are you going to do with all that space? What could you possibly put into two terabytes? And it's just kind of like, oh my gosh. And I'm sure, like, it, like, because, like, space just keeps getting more and more. You know, like, you keep needing more and more for things. So, I like, I don't, I don't even suspect that, like, two terabytes is, like, I, I think even that's kind of a little low now because I could fill that up in a day like just give me the opportunity so like I'm sure one day that that will be just like peanuts that'll just be like a, a drop in the sand basically so it's just it's just funny because I can still remember basically the dawn of computers <clears throat> did I did I read that? Oh shoot, 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 shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Ah. Okay. Okay, so sorry about that. I didn't mean to click all that. Um, let's see. Uh there we go. <clears throat> Well, email isn't just comprised of text. There's more to it. Like the sender, receiver's email addresses, the header, and various other things. So roughly speaking, we can send data in three batches of 12 bytes then. By the way, I don't know if this using the subject changes anything. But I'm pretty sure that chicken and bananas have to be larger than 12 bytes. How do you measure a banana in bytes anyway? Since each grain of sand is tiny, it's possible they could be converted to less than 12 bytes. 
So larger masses get crushed by supergravity. Mass might not be the issue here. Data doesn't have mass. In any case, since the singularity is a naked, the object is forced to pass through the event horizon. Inside the event horizon, space and time switch places, causing the subject that arrived at the ring singularity to reach ultra high speed. The data, crushed and destroyed by supergravity, is shot out of the black hole as a jellyman. But even a small mass has to pass through supergravity. How does it emerge unscathed? If the hole's too tight, then just inject more electrons. I don't think it's that simple. I mean, I'm sure Saren's tried that already, and yet they haven't gotten any results after nine years of experiments. It's not as simple as increasing the flow of electrons. Saren has a lifter, but we don't know what in the phone waves is filling. We don't know what in the phone wave is filling the same role, much less how to adjust it. She has a point. We don't know what acts as a lifter. But we do know that it has successfully created a path wide enough to send approximately 36 bytes of data through the ring singularity. I don't get it. Mayuri, finished with her chicken, looks at us in confusion. Think of it like an RPG. The ring singularity, the entrance, in, the entrance to the event horizon is the gate to the demon lord's castle. Ma D demon lord? Hundreds of soldiers attack the heavily fortified demon lord's castle gate. The soldiers can use the magic called Lifter to force the castle gate open. But they can only keep it open for a moment before it closes. During that moment, only 12 soldiers can break through. The soldiers can only use Lifter magic three times. The 36 soldiers who make it through the gate return triumphantly as heroes who slew the demon lord. But the soldiers who were left behind are imprisoned by the demon lord's minions. They are taken to the castle's prison cells and turned into slimes. The heroes save them after defeating the demon lord, but unfortunately they go home as slimes. So the soldiers who went home as slimes are jellymen? But there's an exception. The soldiers can combine into a super soldier with the strength and size of a hundred ordinary soldiers. The super soldier has the power to defeat the demon lord alone, but since his body is too big, he can't pass through the gate, even when it's opened by the lifter. And so, deprived of the magic's effectiveness, the weakened super soldier is seized by the demon lord's underlings and sent home in defeat as a giant slime. 
combining soldiers. That's just silly. It's to illustrate that the object can't be too big. I get it! That's really easy to understand! So... It is... It's a dumb metaphor, but I guess it works at least as an explanation for why things get jellified. <laughs> it's all thanks to Mayuri's hint. Mayushi was helpful? Yeah, great insight, Mayuri. But it's still a hypothesis. It hasn't been proven. How would you prove it? With human experiments like CERN? If Okabe and Hashida-san volunteer as test subjects, I'll happily experiment on you. Human experimentation sounds kind of dirty, if you know what I mean. But I refuse. I'd rather play the doctor than the subject. Same here. No, not in the way he's implying. Idiots. Kurso gives us a cold stare, then shrugs her shoulders in exasperation. As I keep saying, the real problem is what the phone wave uses as a lifter. That and the one other thing. How come the discharge phenomenon and jellification only happen during a certain time frame? We may not understand everything, but we've perfected the art of demailing. Is that our final answer? Sending mail to the past is amazing, isn't it? Though I guess it's not a real time machine unless we can send people to the past. <clears throat> Abbreviated as FA in Japanese, used in the question, is that your final answer, internet slang, originates from a popular quiz show with contestants who want to be millionaires. <clears throat> Even CERN has failed to send humans through. If you believe what Titor says, it won't be another, what, 24 years before that's a true time machine? I guess Kurisu's sarcastic... I, I answer Kurisu's sarcastic question with a nod. Physical time travel is impossible for us at the moment. We lack the funds and facilities available to CERN. And yet we have realized a form of time travel. 
We've sent data to the past. We should investigate the phone way further. We need to understand what's going on. I have a, some fun ideas for how to use D-mail. I know how you feel, but we can't today. If we shake the building again, Mr. Braun is sure to blow a gasket. He'll raise the rent or kick us out of the lab. We can start experimenting again tomorrow, but this I will declare now. I step onto the couch and look at each of the lab men in turn. You have to take off your shoes, it's dirty! Today, uh, what day is it? August 2nd. August 2nd, 2010 is a day which will live in infamy. For on this day, we, the Future Gadget Laboratory, have developed the first successful time machine in the history of mankind. It's not the first. CERN beat us. And you can't even say we developed it. It happened by accident. <laughs> it seems that my assistant doesn't know the meaning of the word serendipity. Penicillin, x-ray machines, dynamite, these inventions, and more were all born from coincidence. Dynamite. <clears throat> A nitroglycerin-based explosive invented by Alfred Nobel in 1866. <clears throat> X-ray, a type of electromagnetic wave discovered by Wilhelm Röntgen in 1895, famous for its applications in medicine. The world's first antibiotic, discovered in 1929. By the way, just the thought of, like, penicillin, I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Made me think of this anime I've been watching, um... While I haven't been feeling great, called Doctor Stone, it is a really good anime. <laughs> um, if if you're if you're into anime, anyways, I I give it my my thumbs up. <laughs> I guess. One, one, one more last plug for Dr. Stone. If you really enjoy Steins Gate, I'm pretty sure that there is probably a probably a large overlap of people who would also enjoy um, Dr. Stone that would enjoy Steins Gate. <clears throat> but Chris Chan, you said before that time machines don't exist, right? But now you admit they do. <sighs> It's just that I have to admit it for now. If we investigate how the phone wave works, it might turn out to be something that only seems like time travel. Does nobody have any respect for my grand declaration? Don't complain if I take all the credit for inventing the first 
second, whatever. Time machine in human history. The 66th round table conference ends here. Dismissed. Wait, that was a round table conference? I didn't know that. It's even the 66th. Who cares what kind of table it is? Kurisu gets up from her chair and stretches. I'm gonna go back to my hotel, take a shower, and sleep. Mayushi has to go to work soon. I'm incredibly tired too. Let's just sleep today. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was, I'm, I'm trying to find a good place to stop. <clears throat> but when I lie down, I find myself unable to sleep. Though, part of me is still frightened by the dark secrets we've uncovered. The curiosity and excitement are too much to bear. Alright, I am going to save here because it's been almost an hour and this seems like a good place to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And I'm definitely going to record another episode immediately after this. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!